Copenhagen is undoubtedly famous for its biking culture, with about 500,000 Copenhageners choosing to bike every day. Cycling here might be a little bit different from where you're used to cycling, so this video is going to tell you how to bike in Copenhagen. Step one is to wear a helmet. Step two is to sort out your bike. The first thing you're going to need on your bike is a bell. This is to warn others that you're about to overtake or just to annoy people. Secondly, you need to use lights in the dark so you can be seen. So when you finish riding your bike, make sure to take your lights off just in case there's any thieves that might steal them. It's just a precaution to take. That brings me on to the next point. You're going to want to remember to lock your bike. Now at first it doesn't look like any of the bikes are locked in Copenhagen, but if you look closely you can see a small wheel lock built into most of them. If you're worried you can always use another lock as well. Your bike might also have a pannier rack where you can clip on small items like your jacket, or you can use a bungee cord to tie on your bag. Just whatever you do, don't hang heavy bags off your front handlebars, it's a terrible idea. Another thing to note is that most Copenhagen bikes use pedal brakes, which means that if you want to brake with your back wheel, you need to pedal backwards instead of squeezing a lever. Now this is important to practice before you head out, because otherwise you might end up like me. Just pulling the front brake. Now to learn hand signals. Turning left at the end of the road is pretty simple, so is turning right. You've probably used these hand signals before. However, in Denmark they've got a third hand signal, which means stop, like a brake glide. At a four-way junction, turning right is pretty simple, but turning left straight up is illegal. Instead, you need to use your stop hand signal to stop at cross traffic, then wait for your other light to go green, allowing you to go straight on with the cyclists who are behind you. Now, as you can see, I'm cycling in a bike lane, which is completely separate from all the traffic on the road. That's great and all because you're safe from the cars, but cyclists can be quite aggressive, so if you're not very fast, stay over to the right-hand side of the lane. And that's not just advice, it's actually the law. Here are all of the laws that you can break and get fined for. Cycling in left side of the lane. Going the wrong way in traffic. Cycling on a walkway. Cycling with no hands. Or feet. Actually, cycling with no hands and feet is really difficult, so I wouldn't recommend anyway. Running a red light. Even if you're turning right. Or if someone else did it before you. Not giving the proper hand signals. not adhering to right of way, like at the zebra crossing. To avoid this, use eye contact. Simple. Not adhering to road signs. Using your phone while cycling. This could happen to you. Thanks for watching, and I wish you the best luck cycling in Copenhagen.